right, so I'm here with Andy Serkis, who played Caesar in The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And I'm also here with the director, the digital director, um, Joe Lettery. Letteri. Yes. Letteri, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. So the film is finally finished. What do you think of the final product? I, I think, we're, you know, we're, we're kind of quite pleased that it's, it's a, you know, it's a beautiful film. It's a really terrific film, an yeah. honest film. It's got a really emo emotional kind of center to it, and it, I think it's got a powerful message, and it was beautifully directed. Uh, I mean, I was yes. blown away by it. I saw it at the press night the other night for the first, for, not for the, for the, for the premiere, rather, mm -hmm. and uh, I was really, I was really, really taken with it. It was a great film. I mean, you were just swinging through branches <laughs> and everything, and, you know, we've gone from Casper to Lord of the Rings, Flintstones, Avatar, and now The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now, tell me something that's different about this film that wasn't done on the other films? Well, the, okay, so we used a lot of uh, the idea of performance capture, motion capture, you know, through Lord of the Rings, uh, mm -hmm. through Avatar. We've been developing this idea to the point where we wanted to be able to take it on set and, and just say, okay, now just make it part of the live action filmmaking. So. Andy could be in there now with James, with Frida. Rupert could direct him right in the midst of the other actors. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to do things after the fact. It can be out on a location, it could be on a stage. It really just becomes an integral part of the filmmaking process and hopefully just transparent to everyone involved. This was a new technique. You literally put on a gray suit with all those red dots on you, and you had to act like, you know, a chimpanzee. Walk me through that. Have you always had this innate primal thing inside <laughs> of you? How was that oh, for yeah. you? Oh, yeah, always, always. No. Uh, I, no, I, um, I, the, th the thing is, when you're playing a character like this, there's, there's kind of two stages to the process. The first part is is learning ape behavior, and that's really important because obviously your physical, your body language is going to tell a lot of that story, and you have to be able to make your body do what an ape can do. But but it is only the first part because really what we're looking for, the actors playing these roles, is, is personality and character and mm -hmm. really understanding the journey of the character. And with Caesar, he's got a massive journey. And it's be, I think it's one of the most challenging roles I've played to date because you're trying to convey all that emotion, all of that, uh, you know, the pain that he feels the kind of the, the fact that he's a freak and an outsider and and then and then becomes a revolutionary leader and you're doing all of that without without dialogue or you know little dialogue so 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 it's a it's um it's it was a huge acting challenge mm -hmm. and 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 that's and and having a director there on set and working with the other actors you know you're able to really make make those scenes feel real and one of the most amazing things about this film is that it's really told through the eyes of the chimpanzee, Caesar. And I know this is one of the first films to do that. Was that a struggle? Well, it was, I think, for the reason that, that you know, Andy said, that it had to be done um, really through the eyes. You know, I, I mean, it, literally, I, I know you were using the term figuratively, but that's how we had to read and understand everything that was going on. Every moment, you just have to look at Caesar's yeah. face and, and understand, you know, the, the, the pain of rejection he feels, the, the, the decisions he's making to sort of take control of his own future. And, and the fact that it leads to where it does is almost like a byproduct of his own personal choices that he has to make in the moment. Did you all do any research on primates to produce this type of film? Looking at YouTube videos mm -hmm. of them going through the, you know, in the zoo or anything? Absolutely. I mean, we'd, we'd, we'd worked together, obviously, we'd worked on uh, Kong before. You know? So so we'd done a lot of research, you know, I've spent a lot of time in zoos. I went to Rwanda to study mountain gorillas, you know, we, we did a huge amount of uh, primate research. But obviously these are chimpanzees, they're different apes entirely. Um, Rupert, the director, and myself based, uh, you know, we, 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 we based him on a real live chim chimpanzee called Oliver, his physical gait when he's walking on two legs. Um, he, so we, we, we very closely honed in on one touchstone character. Okay. Well, thank you so much for speaking with Black TV. I really thank, do appreciate it, guys. You. Okay? You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Francesca. Great.